In this video, we're going to look at the top five audio narration options for your e-learning course. When I first got started using Adobe Captivate, uh, I used the tool that was available to me, and that was the NeoSpeech voices that were included in Adobe Captivate, starting with, I believe it was version 5 when I first used those. And, you know, I was impressed with those at the time, and for some people, they're very suitable. The advantage, I guess, the real advantage of the NeoSpeech text-to-speech voices is that they're basically built into Adobe Captivate and you don't really require any additional fees or any additional services to take advantage of them. If you open up uh, any Adobe Captivate project, open the slide notes panel from your window drop down, you'll see it right here. And then of course, click on the text to speech icon to render any text that you've put in the notes here, like I've done here. The example I'm gonna use for all five of the options that I'll be covering today is exactly the same. I pulled this from an actual e-learning course. That way, of course, it is fair and equitable across all the comparisons, but it's also very realistic, something you might typically hear in an e-learning course. The one I use most frequently is Julie. I find that her voice is the least offensive out of all of them. Let's uh, generate the audio for this passage and give it a listen. During this course, you will learn the responsibilities of the various organizations when it comes to the life safety systems and emergency evacuation procedures, the correct procedures for reporting in the event of an emergency, how to recognize the different items, equipment, and devices that make up the life safety systems, and the correct procedures for evacuating any building you may be inside during the event of an emergency. Click next to learn why this course is essential. Okay, so it's pretty bland. Um, I don't think using the NeoSpeech voices would be suitable for uh, any kind of soft skills or uh, let's say scenario-based training where you might be using storytelling techniques. Uh, certainly if you needed two voices to have a conversation with one another to simulate actual employees, for example, I think NeoSpeech would probably fall apart at that point. One of the other solutions that's available to you is uh, the Microsoft voices that come with, uh, of course, Windows 10. You'll see that there are a couple available here, Microsoft David and Microsoft Zira. And depending on your installation of Windows 10, you might see different voices. I have another video that you can link to just above me here, where I explain how you can find other Microsoft voices. In that video, we find a Japanese voice, if that's what you're looking for, and install that. I've actually, for this purpose today, I've found another voice that uses a British accent. So let's select uh, Microsoft Hazel and generate the same passage and see what that sounds like. During this course, you will learn the responsibilities of the various organizations when it comes to the life safety systems and emergency evacuation procedures, the correct procedures for reporting in the event of an emergency, how to recognize the different items, equipment, and devices that make up the life safety systems, and the correct procedures for evacuating any building you may be inside during the event of an emergency. Click next to learn why this course is essential. So again, I don't know that the Microsoft voices would be suitable for more advanced training, certainly soft skills or uh, scenario-based training that utilize storytelling, as I mentioned already. I can't imagine what a conversation between, uh, let's say, the Microsoft voices and the NeoSpeech voices would sound like. Incidentally, I've received a lot of requests over the years for additional NeoSpeech voices. When I recently went to the NeoSpeech.com website, I learned that NeoSpeech is now part of another company called ReadSpeaker. You'll notice that there's really no option on this website to simply purchase additional voices 
a la carte like you might expect. In all cases, though, you need to contact uh, Read Speaker and find out from them what the best solution is for your particular use case. What I have learned in speaking with Read Speaker is that if you'd like to purchase additional voices for Adobe Captivate, you're looking at anywhere from a thousand to thirteen hundred US dollars per year per voice. So it can be rather expensive to go with the Read Speaker option. So in a case like where you might need Japanese, it might simply be cheaper to use the Microsoft Japanese voice as an example. Next, let's take a look at what is known as Amazon Polly. Amazon, of course, has this text-to-speech technology built in to their web services, but you can utilize this as well to generate MP3s or WAV files of your particular text-to-speech. So I've done the same thing here. There doesn't seem to be a cost associated with it. Just simply use your regular Amazon account to log in and uh, utilize the tool. The advantage that I would say that Amazon Polly brings to the table is they have a tremendous number of voices when you compare it with the other solutions that we've mentioned so far. You can see here there's a little bit more than a half a dozen voices for English US but you can see there's quite a few choices for different languages and of course uh, in some cases uh, different dialects as well. So let's use the English voices for right now but feel free to visit Amazon Polly's website. I'll include a link in the description below to try it out for yourself. I'll use the Joanna voice. Here's the exact same text I used before. During this course, you will learn the responsibilities of the various organizations when it comes to the life safety systems and emergency evacuation procedures, the correct procedures for reporting in the event of an emergency, how to recognize the different items, equipment, and devices that make up the life safety systems, and the correct procedures for evacuating any building you may be inside during the event of an emergency. Click next to learn why this course is essential. So I think in this case, this example voice that I'm using is uh, definitely better than NeoSpeech. Also, I would say better, significantly better than the Microsoft voices. Uh, but again, I think it still falls short in its ability to provide a truly good simulation of a human voice. So I don't think you could use it to have characters interacting with one another. I think for technical training, it would be fine. But, um, you know, if you were doing any kind of soft skills training, I think, uh, I think it would fall apart quite quickly. That said, I was shown a demonstration about a year ago of a product from a company called Well Said Labs. And what I'd like to do is share their solution with you. They've actually come to market with something right now that's pretty sophisticated. In this case here, there are some limitations to it, but literally I'm quite willing to say that this is the best text-to-speech voices I've ever heard in my entire career as an e-learning developer. Uh, in this case here, um, I've logged in with a paid account, uh, but even with the free account, and again, I'll put a link in the description below, with the free account, you have access to a handful of voices and you can generate a certain number of clips that you can literally use in your e-learning course. Uh, once you've used up those clips, of course, you will need to purchase a license you're looking at about $100 per month. You can then use it for uh, developing an entire e-learning course. Here's an example. I've used the same text as before. And what I'll do is because of the way the tool renders, I'll have to play each sentence one by one here. So let's start with the first line. During this course, you will learn the responsibilities of the various organizations when it comes to the life safety systems and emergency evacuation procedures the correct procedures for reporting in the event of an emergency, how to recognize the different items, equipment, and devices that make up the life safety systems, and the correct procedures for evacuating any building you may be inside during the event of an emergency. Click next to learn why this course is essential. So I think you'll agree with me that what Well Said Labs is offering 
is really close to human speech. It's not perfect. I'll be the first to tell you that uh, when you experiment with this, you'll probably find certain words that it has trouble with. There are some tricks that you can use to help with the pronunciation of certain things. Like for example, if you wanted to group a series of words together to have the speech agent treat them as a single object, you can put them in quotations. And you can also do that to add emphasis to those particular items as well. In addition, there's a section over here on the left-hand panel where you can go in and you can type in phonetic spelling for certain words. I use this particularly for acronyms. So you can see here to pronounce the Greater Toronto Airports Authority as GTAA, I spell out those letters so that we get a proper pronunciation. Also, I've learned that the tool does a better job with numbers spelled out as one spelled out like O-N-E and two T-W-O and so forth. But, you know, as you experience this tool, you'll find what works well for you as well. But if I was going to recommend any text-to-speech solution uh, just based on quality alone, it would certainly be Well Said Labs. Now, the last audio narration solution I want to remind everyone of is you don't always have to use text-to-speech as a technology by itself. You can rely, of course, on voiceover artists who are literally standing by waiting to do the narration for your e-learning course. Kelly Lebrecht is a voiceover artist I've worked with before. Like the others, I'm going to include a link to her website down in the description below. And in fact, I've received tremendous praise from the client that I worked with that Kelly helped me build an e-learning course for. Uh, they were totally blown away by the quality that the e-learning course was given when Kelly applied her voiceover to that particular narration job. I've asked Kelly to provide the very same sample we've been using throughout all of these examples. So let's listen to that right now and see what that sounds like. During this course, you will learn the responsibilities of the various organizations when it comes to the life safety systems and emergency evacuation procedures, the correct procedures for reporting in an event of an emergency, how to recognize the different items, equipment, and devices that make up the life safety systems, and the correct procedures for evacuating any building you may be inside during the event of an emergency. Click next to learn why this course is essential. So if you have an ongoing need for voice narration in your e-learning, I would say that uh, it would be a very close tie between what you might spend for uh, a voiceover artist like Kelly. She would be more expensive, but I would put her in first place when it comes to quality. You're going to get the professionalism, the dynamics, the energy in her voice that no text-to-speech solution will provide. Well Said Labs would be a close second next to, uh, to Kelly's voice uh, or other voiceover artists. Well Said Labs, again, is the best text-to-speech technology I have heard in my entire career as an e-learning developer. Amazon Polly and Read Speaker slash NeoSpeech, as well as the Microsoft Voices, uh, I would say come in third, fourth, and fifth place in that order. Uh, and again, none of those solutions would be suitable for any kind of uh, training that requires uh, a real human quality to it. I think they would only be suitable for the most basic of narration needs. So check out the links in the description below and hopefully you'll find a voiceover narration solution that works best for you. If you disagree with the choices that I've made, feel free to put that in the comments below. And also, if you have any other recommendations, I'm sure that my other viewers would love to hear those as well. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. 
visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.